Hi guys, Candice here with Crafting Elegance on YouTube and Paper Crafting Elegance on Instagram. And I am coming on today to share with you some projects that I made using the Doodlebug 6x6 paper pad party time. Now, I have been watching several videos of crafters out there that are participating in a collaboration that's hosted by Deb Hulk called Smash That Small Paper Pad. And I've been really intrigued at how these crafters for a couple of years now have been going through their stash of paper and making as many projects as they can over the course of a year until they completely use up their 6x6, 8x8, and 6x8 paper pads. And it got me thinking that I should actually start doing that. I have tons of paper in my collection. Um, I start projects and don't necessarily finish them. So for 2021, one of my goals is to kind of use up my stash. So I am going to participate in this collaboration, not as one of the members, but as an activity and challenge for myself. So I'm starting off in January with the Doodlebug Collection Party Time. Now I purchased this collection last year and I started making a couple projects. Um, but I decided to go ahead and finish working with the paper pad until I completely smashed it. So all I have left from this paper pad is a half sheet here and a couple of scraps. Now some of you may be thinking, girl, you could probably still make some more stuff with that. And you're probably right. However, I'm a little bit tired and I think for 24 double-sided sheets of paper, if that's all I have left, I can consider this a smash paper pad. So I typically am a card maker. So my go-to project is to make cards. So what I started doing with this collaboration um, and like some of the other members in this collaboration was to take the paper pad and make cards, make gift tags, make embellishments, as much stuff as I possibly could till I totally used it up. So let me go through some of the card fronts that I completed. So the first one here um, is this card. It is using a die set from My Favorite Things called Pinata. And let me pull that die out so you can see what it looks like. So this die looks like this. And it's such a cute little image that you can actually, you know, flare up some of the pieces here. I haven't done all of that just yet, but it's totally, totally cute. And it goes really well with this theme. So I made a card like this and I did make two of them. So I used some of the six by six pattern paper from the collection. And I always do purchase a couple extra sheets of 12 by 12 because I never know what I'm gonna do. So I used the combination of the two of those and I created these two cards. Now also I created um, a double set of this card here. And this one is using a die from Queen and Company. It's one of the collections that I had. It's one of their um, collections that came out last year was like sprinkles and um, like ice cream and so forth. I can't remember the name of the collection, but I use the die sets from there. And then also from their um, birthday bash kit, I use some of the stamp sentiments in there. And you'll see that several times throughout this video that I used a lot of the sentiments and, die and stamps from this set. So I made two cards like this and they looked very similar. Then I made um, this adorable card also from that birthday bash kit that birthday bash kit had all of these little small pom-poms that you could make So I took the stamp set from that collection looks just like this stamped it added these bows that come from pink and Maine, and The sentiment here comes from lawn font. It's from their wavy um, banner sentiments and I made these two cards Next, from that same collection, I made these two cards. Um, this is using from that stamp set, the party hats. And then I also use some of the, um, the pom-poms as well as the sentiment. And I thought these were pretty adorable. Then I started using some of the doodle pops from this collection. 
you know, we always hoard our doodle pops, but I said, you know, I'm gonna start using up my stash. So I went ahead and I made two cards just like this. And this is using one of the doodle pops. It's very, very dimensional. And the sentiment again from the uh, Queen and Company birthday bash set. And here's two more cards using a doodle pop. It's the cake doodle pop one. Again, the same thing and the sentiment from the birthday bash. Next, what I have are some more doodle pops cards. These two here, they're both the same. It's using the little monkey doodle pop here. This sentiment uh, is a die from My Favorite Things. And the banner strip here is from the Queen and Coke um, essential set. Then my last two cards that I made were these birthday boy cards. They're very similar. This one is just the, all the balloons in the back. This die sentiment comes from My Favorite Things and the Doodle Pop from the collection. And this one I used some of the scrap uh, strips from um, the collection that I had left over. Use the same sentiment in some of the doodle pops here. So I was able to get two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, four, 16 cards out of that paper pad. And I think that's amazing. 16 cards, um, they're each duplicates and very similar. So I think that was a great way to use up this collection. But that wasn't everything that I made. I made a couple more things too. So I'm just gonna kind of slide this out of the way so you can see what else I made. So the next thing that I like to make are tags. So from the collection, I decided to create some coordinating tags with this, with this collection. So here we have the birthday hats again and the wavy sentiment from Lawn Fawn for those two tags. And then the bows here are from Pink and Main. This next set of tags is um, using a die from, I believe this is from AliExpress. And the die set, I'm sorry, the, um, the tag set actually is from um, Jaded Blossom. Here are two more tags. Let me show these. And these are using some of the doodle pops from the collection. And again, the sentiments from um, Queen & Co. And here are two more that are similar. I did not put a sentiment on them. They're just two of the little birthday cakes. And um, they were from the uh, Queen & Co. collection as well. And then because I just love that little pinata, I had to make two tags that look like the pinata, that use the pinata die as well. So this here was about two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 tags that I made. I think that was pretty good as well. And then I also had some smaller tags from the scraps of the paper. So I was just cutting them up into miniature pieces, miniature tags, and then I kind of layered them on top of each other, used some sentiments from my stash, and created these smaller little tags as well. So that's that. I also made some gift card holders that were using the pinata, and this sentiment is from um, Lawn Fawn, saying just for you. See, these are the gift card holders. You can easily put a gift card in there. So I thought these were adorable. Um, I also made some little flag banners using up some more of the doodle pops. And then lastly, I created a memory decks card. And this is again using, um, this was a, a cut file that I got from Kitty's Scrapping Post. Um, that's Louisa here on YouTube. I purchased her cut file. And then the party is from a silhouette cut file, and I use the doodle pops here to embellish it. So guys, this is everything that I made from smashing that small paper pad. 
Um, I will continue to do this every month. Um, I have several collections in my stash here that I would love to use up and make as many projects as I possibly can. And I encourage you guys to also play along with it. Um, if you're wanting to use up some of your stash, you want to um, play along, I encourage you to do it. So thank you all for joining me today. If you like this video and would please care to give me a thumbs up, I appreciate the um, recognition. If you like to um, see more videos like this in the future, um, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss a video. Thank you all and have a great day. Bye.